Previously on Quest Friends, The Cookie 2. I want to make a new cookie, and I want to make it based off of a Brackleberry family recipe that's been passed down through the family for generations. Sounds killer, when do we go? Actually, Madeline, um, I was thinking you could stay here. Why, why wouldn't I go? You said you were sending four, four people who, why, if I'm not the fourth who's, who's going. <laughs> is, it, is it my time? It is your time. <laughs> okay, my name is Angelina Lexington, but since I sign all of my documents as A.Lex, people usually call me by the name of Alex, it's up to you really however you want to call me. Sure thing. So just to be clear, we're going to see your aunt, uh, Ramya. She's a professor at the University of Key. Uh, Arif, I understand you're an alumnus? I believe I am. That's correct. Are you asking me as a DM? Yes. No, I... <laughs> oh, well, um, University of Key bans all books, so it is really hard to find a specific book if you're looking for one. It, it, it bans all books? Yeah, they ban all books. Arif, is that... <laughs> Is this normal for colleges? Why? This is normal for Key University. Uh, my name is Shannon. Shannon Iggins. Shannon. Oh my god. Shannon Iggins. Uh, were you raised by the Twisters? Yeah, the nuns at Werfel. Uh, the town hall of records burned down after a traveling carnival came through, and they didn't know where I was supposed to be transferred. So, Ig has actually gotten a little bit pale. <laughs> yeah, actually, there was a girl who looked a lot like you when she came in the carnival. Wait. <laughs> Probably not our friend Ig here, then. Just no coincidence. Way. And I am trained in deceiving. <laughs> be able to do this because <laughs> I'm Are assuming you see her? yes I am assuming that is the exact traveling carnival that burned it down that Ig was a part of but I don't want her to know I feel like Han Lord Arif are used to reading Ig's guilty looks <laughs> yeah <laughs> fire related guilty looks <laughs> all right so what am I gonna do uh if, if that is your deception like mm-hmm. if it's just no, can't have been. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make me a roll. Uh, 20. Ooh. It was a 20? No, I'm asking roll the 20. Yes. <laughs> no, gosh, I wish. Oh my god. Oh, a d20, yeah. I was like, first roll the game! It is a 12. And It is a 12? Do I get any sweet bonuses for being trained in that? Awesome. Uh, you're trained, so it was a step easier. So you succeed, actually. Yes. So she looks... <laughs> from you to um ig and says okay yeah you know i guess i guess it couldn't have been i i couldn't see through all the no smoke way. because the town fire mm-hmm. caught oh from the gosh. town hall and then burned down the town crematorium <laughs> and we couldn't tell which oh way. my gosh do your did your people uh, traditionally burn people after death well cremation was a pretty was a pretty common practice but then after the fire we couldn't tell which ashes were the building and which were the body that's, so that's we pretty, stopped that's a really <laughs> I'm really sorry that that happened. I'm pushing oh in God. physically behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you're doing that, Shannon, Bob, it's kind of a shame, though, because I've always really wanted to learn to juggle fire and also to be a mechanic. And there's just a lot of things I want to learn. Um, but that's OK. It's probably not you. Um, look, I can take you to the library if you want. Ig is going to perk up. Oh, no. And I will give you a chance to try and stop them from (laughs) declaring that they can teach this girl fire. I'll allow it. (laughs) I feel like handlers, like, should try. (laughs) Are you making opposing rules? Okay. Uh, (laughs) What kind of check is that going to be, boss man? That's going to be... Probably doesn't matter. I rolled a two. (laughs) Oh no. I thought that you were gonna stop because I only rolled an eight. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Get him out now, it's okay. Well. Ig succeeds. Wait a second, you've always wanted to learn to juggle fire? Yeah, I just, ever since that traveling carnival came through, I was like, wow, fire is destructive, but kind of cool. And you know what? I was really happy with the nuns. They uh, saw, what was it? Aptitude. They said I had aptitude. So they sent me to the University of Key, and I'm really happy here. Can I, uh, 
can handle or do some sort of check to see if if Shannon is tr- really happy. Yes, you can. You can do like a like a sense motive check or like a perception. Oh. Oh, I got an 11. Oh, yeah. You can tell she is in the middle. She's not lying. Oh. But there's like something beneath the surface that she isn't quite happy about. I can teach you just if you have an aptitude, I'm not sure if they meant like an aptitude for something else, but I'm assuming that because we were talking about fire juggling, they thought you had an aptitude for that. Want to practice? Oh my gosh, I'd love to, but not here because this is an office and I work for Professor Brockleberry and I don't want to get fired from my part-time student job. She has a lot of puzzles in here, a lot of papers. Some of them look really important. A lot of them have like EB written on them and I, th- I file those away in the corner. Uh, I don't want to burn those because she gets really sad about those a lot. Good call, because I was just about to start a fire. Okay. Yeah, you know, kid, uh, you can always find time to pursue your passions. So I think that you can, if you really want to learn about this, you can make the effort to do it. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. What's your name? <laughs> oh, uh, it's Alex. I'm just gonna just Alex. extend a hand. It's so nice to meet you. She will shake your hand. Cool. And then in in that hand, she has uh like a, a piece of paper that has a lot of, of facts about fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As they shake hands so that she has that. It's like, well, oh, it's stupid yeah. that books are banned, but your paper with a lot of information in it is. So here you go. Um, it depends on whether it's for a project. If it's for a school project, then yes. If it's for a personal project, then no. Totally. Well, you can make the argument that you can make the school project a personal project, right? At that, another voice sounds okay. from behind you and says, believe me, we've tried. <laughs> And then in the doorway, leading very casually in a way that's almost reminiscent of Madeline Jeffrey James, is another girl who looks about Shannon's age. It's not Madeline Jeffrey James, just like her vibe kind of reminds you. Um, <laughs> and in the doorway is a girl who can best be described as an elegant ragamuffin. She is wearing a large loose hoodie with the hood pulled up around her face and her hands stuffed in her pockets. Uh, but in her face is something very like put together and classical, like Audrey Hepburn. Like I mentioned, like Audrey Hepburn's face sticking out of like a rumpled hoodie Mm -hmm. Uh, and she looks very serene but in a way that says I'm better than you (laughs) she is holding what looks like a peppermint stick like one of those peppermint candies that looks like a cigarette uh, out of the corner of her mouth and she says you can make things happen if you want to Uh, where would we go for the books that have been donated you mean confiscated (laughs) no I mean donated Charlotte everyone this is my friend Charlotte and Charlotte will respond, no, you mean confiscated. What are you all doing here? We are on a very important secret mission from the Queen. You may have heard of her. And we need to access some books that belong to Professor, uh, name who I know, Romia. Professor Brackle, Professor B- Roma Brackleberry. 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 Professor Brackle- Brackleberry. That's a hard one for me to say. Romia. Romia. Brackleberry. Ramia. It's on the door. Mm, well. <laughs> <laughs> Professor B. Ramia. <laughs> uh, she somehow... Professor B. <laughs> she was already... Like, her legs were kind of crossed and she was already leaning against the door. She oh, somehow goodness. leans even more <laughs> casually into the door when you say that. And then she looks all of you up and down, glitter to hat. Mm-hmm. Hitler does take the hat off now. <laughs> and is like, official business from the queen, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, that's the bad... Uh, Seeing the this new girl, Alex is going to just momentarily, her face is going to get super red really momentarily and she's going <laughs> to just stare at it and, and then she's going to just like gain her composure or try to at least just for like a second, like it's like blink and you miss it. And then she's uh-huh. going to be like, uh, yeah, so if you don't mind just aiding us with this mission, Mrs... <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte N. Charlotte N. Great. So nice to meet you, Charlotte. Love the name. <laughs> Yeah, nice to meet you too. What's what's your name? And then she's gonna look down the line with the clear expectation that everyone says their names. She's just gonna say Angelina Lexington. <laughs> I nudge Ig. She wants you to say your name. Is Ig and next like, in line? <laughs> yep. I am the incredible igneous artiste <laughs> of Astaria. All right. I'm Arif. 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 What? Oh no. <laughs> Arif Sindel. She straightens up <laughs> hearing that name. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> 
And then it goes, Lear of Zindel, who went to University of Key. It's kind of hoping to avoid this, but yes. Why? You're a legend. That's Aerith right. is a legend? Hey, Laura is just looking at Aerith with the biggest <laughs> grin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what did you do, bud? She's going to close the door behind her at this. Aerith Zindel snuck in just an overwhelming number of books. You know, I'm sure you know by now, because Key University really likes to broadcast this, but they ban books. All books. There's no reading material that I get from the library. Are there magazines? <sighs> Five weeks. How did you learn anything? The teacher's lecture. I know, but really, you know, teachers are valuable to a degree. It just feels like libraries are an important part of all education. Look, that's what we all say, but he likes to make sure we learn what they want us to learn. As in the administration. Got it. As in they can shove a stick somewhere. Yeah. But Arif here, she was a ringleader of, of a legendary gang that snuck in books. A gang? Yes, I oh, was. No. And... Gang? Felix is gonna look impressed at her. Kind of like my circus troupe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Charlotte looks really skeptical that, almost offended that you're comparing legendary hero Arif Zindal to random circus troupe, but sh but Shannon like claps from her, from the desk. Handler makes the, <laughs> Handler makes the cut it gesture. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Ick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you were in a book gang? No, it was one of the better ways to get things learned. Cool. Um, more or less. It was, it was a good time. I am positively impressed. Did you call yourselves the bookworms? <laughs> yeah. Um, which means this shouldn't be too difficult to achieve if we really need to get our book. Something about you makes me trust you instantly, Charlotte. You're looking for a book? I can help you get a book. Charlotte N? How is it spelled? E-N? Or is it just the letter N? Charlotte N. <laughs> it's the letter N. Charlotte N. Does that stand for anything or is it just... None of your business. <laughs> none of your business. Charlotte, none of your business. Nice. <laughs> Stands for Nanya. Oh. <laughs> Even though she's not done yet with her peppermint stick, she tosses it into a garbage can uh -huh. and then pulls a different one <laughs> out of her pocket and starts on that one. Shit. Nothing is cooler than waste. <laughs> I want to see how Shannon feels about all of this because she, you know, I don't know if she's going to be upset by breaking the rules because this is essentially what we're going to be doing. Someone should probably stop Egg from going for the candy in the <laughs> <laughs> I'll just reach out and snag her by the sweater. <laughs> egg, Egg, do you still need things that you find? Just stick in their hand in there. Um, actually, at that, Shannon will say, okay, but Charlotte, we have to try to help them with the rules this time, okay? Not everything needs to be solved with delinquency immediately. That's why we're not on the boat. <laughs> Charlotte's like, look, the rules were made to keep us off the boat in the first place. <laughs> Charlotte just sounds a little bit like squid Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just imagining uh, like when Squidward went to oh, the, no. the village of Squidward. Yeah. I'm just imagining <laughs> a lady Squidward. <laughs> Elegant like Audrey Hepburn. And Ellie. <laughs> yes. No, I'm glad you two aren't on the boat because you're here to help us. And this will help your education. Believe me, the only way to really learn anything here is to push yourself, keep pushing yourself. And sometimes that takes breaking some rules. See, she gets it. Big claps. So what book are you looking for? Oh, uh, Charlotte, they're looking for uh, a recipe book, Professor Brackleberry's recipe book. Wow. Oh, so we got to go to the actual library then. Yeah. All right. Well, follow me. And then Shannon and Charlotte will escort you out of the office and you will head towards the library. I'll be, I'll be, uh, Hannah Laura will be the caboose. Just to make sure Ig doesn't wander off. Uh, um, <laughs> on the way there. Can Handler ask, talk, can she talk to Shannon? Yeah, anyone can talk to anyone. You're all going to get... Uh, hey, Shannon. So you're from uh, the, the the nunnery. Yeah. Uh, how How is it there the last last time you saw it? Werefall, yeah. Oh, it's doing really well. Uh, we fixed all the tractors. Uh, there's a boy there uh, named George who fixed all of them. I helped a little bit, uh, but I had so much schoolwork last time I visited back home that I didn't really get the chance to get under the motor. Yeah, you said that you wanted to learn to be a mechanic, and I'm surprised that you didn't learn anything from Zara. 
Oh, no, I did! Zara taught me everything. I am far more competent than the average not mechanic. It's just that uh, I'm also really good at, you know, organizing and, and filing stuff. I even invented, uh, and she's gonna flip through her bifocals, I invented a color coding <laughs> system using invisible ink so as not to mess up Professor Brackleberry's notes. That's really cool. Oh. Very nice. Genius. Thanks. So I just I just have a lot of interest, you know, I wanna, I wanna learn a lot. So they sent me into the university because the university has a wide range of majors to choose from. So I'm still in the exploratory phase, uh, but I do really like mechanics. Yeah, it's a noble profession pursued by brave, good-looking people. <laughs> I agree. Are you a mechanic? Uh, me? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, a little, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon shouts ahead to Charlotte, 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 Handler is a mechanic. And Charlotte, without even turning around, is like, that's great, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a really sad school. I was just thinking the same thing, Ig. <laughs> Arif, why would you go here? Well, I mean, my parents sent me here thinking it was a good idea, and to a degree it was. I learned how to control a lot of my nano abilities, and I did learn a lot, but I did have to take some measures into my own hands. I guess it would be a good idea for someone to get taught how to use their nano abilities. <laughs> yeah. Charlotte shrugs. You know, how did you end up in this crap school anyways? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you really don't seem like the type to be in here. You seem way less indoctrinated, I suppose. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. He has a reputation for uh, weeding out the unruly students. You know, you got an unruly kid, send them to Key, they'll come out refined or whatever. I don't really want any part of it. But it's a good school! Shannon pipes in, and Tara's like, yeah. <laughs> Her, her, her nose <laughs> bouncing like a, like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did your parents also send you here? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, do you have at least close to <laughs> graduating? And she's going to do air quotes of that. Nah, I'm a sophomore. Uh, are you allowed to uh, choose? A, are you allowed to transfer? <laughs> Can you transfer your credits <laughs> to uh, a book, a university that allows books? If your parents will pay for it. <laughs> oh, then. <laughs> It makes sense. Uh, Key is a cost effective. It makes sense that they don't have to spend as much money on things because they don't have a library or any books to maintain. Their cost for fire well, insurance must be, you know. It's actually really nice here. Uh, in what way is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> it seems so restrictive. Well, we have a really good cafeteria oh. with a lot of different foods uh, like hot dogs, hot hounds. <laughs> Mm. Hot dogs, hot hounds. Hot hounds. Those two. Uh, and she must be from the south. Cultural differences. <laughs> a lot of really yummy foods, and um, there are events sometimes, and um, we have a pretty good student council. At which point, Charlotte whips around and goes, "Fuck the student council." <laughs> <laughs> and Alex is gonna raise her hand at that, even though she doesn't know anything about the student council. She's like, "Preach." So it's like, I mean that too. <laughs> <laughs> she just is anti-establishment. Uh -huh. Awesome. You know, you guys, uh, plenty of successful people that you know standing in front of you didn't go to college. So you don't have to go here. And especially not to key, I would imagine. Like, and really, I, I, I mean, the actual successful ones that went to key, for what I'm seeing, are the ones that rebelled against the system. And then she's going to turn to look at, at Erif at that comment. It's not always a choice that you get sent here. It's true, but you can choose to not follow the rules like you two are doing. You're right. And like you can start doing, and she's, she's going to look at, at Shannon. It's <laughs> never late. <laughs> never too late to join. Never too late to be a rebel. Shannon goes, oh no, I, I'm part of Charlotte's gang. Ah. And she goes, shh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, that's on the DL. <laughs> and I was like, right, right. Oh, God. I'm sorry. No, uh, I, I, I think that the school should provide or let us read books. Um, but you know, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty happy here. But I just, I do want to make sure everyone has access to books because uh, I really like YA novels, and it kind of, uh, we all do. Uh, you know, I, I, it, it kind of sucks not having any personal reading material, but it's okay. 
And then Charlotte will add, um, you know, we could get expelled, but we're just too good at what we do. You yeah, like, just kind of smile at that. Like, it's just yeah, just totally. Like chuckle. Yep. You have to be. Are, are you really happy here, Shannon? Because for what you've told me, like, the only positive thing you've said about this school is the food. And I can't imagine it's any good if they're not following recipes. Like, it's probably not even a good food if they don't have a cookbook to look at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I mean they they have recipes, you know, you know. Yeah, but like, what if they forget them? You need to write stuff down. That's how you remember things. And she's just gonna like raise like three of her things, of her of her so, little books, <laughs> notebooks that she has. She's gonna look at your books and be like, oh, "Look at all the paper. Do you need a coding system? Because I invented <laughs> color coded invisible ink." I would like to hear more about that. I do have a coding system of my own, but I, I never, uh, I'm never opposed to implementing new things into my, my writings. It's really useful if you don't want to clutter too much of the page, and then you can use one page to write like seven pages of notes. It's very economical. She's gonna... You can see them with these bifocals. She, she is going to show her one of her pages, which is like really tiny letters and <laughs> filling the whole like the whole paper and be like, kind of like this. Tiny <gasps> wow. Yeah. But see, if you wrote this in different colors and then layered them on top of each other so that you couldn't see them unless you were using like bifocals like these, uh, then you could fit even more on one page. She's just going to like <laughs> smile really well and be like, mm, I... I do need to learn more about this. This you are see, you truly are a genius at this. Uh, like at least you're taking your disabilities could be expanded even more if you just you know stop saying that you like it. When you know you could be learning so much more if you had books around. Uh, I know, um, but you know, uh, and then show the go. There have been attempts in the past to get them to change their rules, and they just won't. Yeah, I can imagine that. I don't know. I mean, who is the principal? Like, how is there a way to, you know, slowly taking over the high office? Charlotte's eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, that is a plan I have never considered. And Shannon's like, Charlotte, I know that the school is unfair, but you have to graduate. <laughs> Alex is going to smile and say, like, perhaps you could start considering it now. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte definitely is. Let's put a pin in that one. Charlotte is doing that, like, finger wag when someone has, like, a really good idea and you don't have an immediate response because you're just too excited by what it is they said. Alex is going to imitate that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it's so beautiful. <laughs>I have one main announcement today, and that's that Kyle just released a Rulettia module. This 21-page module outlines locations, NPCs, items, etc. to be used with the Cypher system, which is the rule set that Numenera uses. Old favorites like Tommy Funbuck and Lorraine Stiles are in the book, but there are some new things there as well, including the Gummy Gang, a crime family of little gummy bear people. First they're sweet, then they're sour. The module is called Welcome to Swagtacular Rulettia and can be found on Drive Through RPG. Uh, that's through spelled T H R U. There should be a link at the bottom of whatever page you're listening on, and we hope that you check it out because we all think it's really cool. Uh, we're really proud of Kyle for it. But enough about Kyle. This mini series is to 
celebrate women in gaming. And although that was back in June, you should check out the Women in Tabletop Month site. It's very cool. They have a lot of stories, some interviews, some videos, some streams, and some resources if you're looking to get into tabletop gaming or finding other people to play with. The website is womenintabletopmonth.com, and their Twitter handle is at tabletopwomen. Again, thanks so much for listening. The next episode of the main campaign will come out on Monday, July 22nd, and the third part of The Cookie 2 will be out on Monday, July 29th. The library is quiet, but loud. It's not exactly ornate, but there's something extra about it. Uh, For instance, the bookshelves that extend past the unnecessarily large and imposing reception desk are angled just so, so that you can see the edges of each additional shelf past the one in front of it, which gives it the impression of a confusing 3D painting rather than like a real three-dimensional space that is before you. Um, And it's quiet, but because it's so quiet, all of the micro sounds in the background The whispers and the paper shuffling and the staplers and the wish of the ladders with the wheels are all amplified into a cacophonous hush. So as you enter, Shannon will approach the librarian's desk and she says, Hello, uh, I'm Professor Blackaberry's office assistant. I'm hoping to check out a book right away. And the librarian is like, certainly, I'll just need those forms. (laughs) And Shannon goes, no, I mean right away. Like I was hoping to get the book today. And the librarian looks completely (laughs) aghast at this suggestion (laughs) and says, I'm afraid not. You know the rules, Miss Iggins. There is a five-week waiting period for any new materials to be checked out. Can Araf step forward and just kind Absolutely. of... Absolutely. Your, your cape is doing its thing because you're inside. Look your best imposing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and she's going to say, We are with Her Majesty Anastasia Brackleberry on urgent business. It must be done today. So... So I I have a thing called Steely Gaze, meaning uh, as you stare around at them, foes with an immediate range of you lose their resolve, and their difficulty of their action is increased by one step. Like I basically want to like kind of just intimidate her while Aerith is saying her spiel, kind of okay, like just watch stand the in the background. Back. Yeah, exactly. I'm also <laughs> trained in intimidation, so I want to also try and intimidate her by doing this. Okay, so go for it. Okay, I guess I can roll and see what this dice has for me. I rolled a 10. It doesn't quite work. Um, the librarian just kind of looks at you and then, not the finger bag, but does like the tusk tusk. Like, he is not above <laughs> chastising adults. So um, <laughs> the librarian just kind of like moves his chair to the side a little bit so that he is directly in front of Arif, who is still talking, instead of visible to you. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that the University of Key is above Her Majesty, and that you could bend a few rules in order to acquire this book for us. The University of Key is above everyone. Oh, snap. <laughs> and in the background, Charlotte's like throwing up her hands like, yeah, this is what I deal with. <laughs> and Shannon next to you is just like, it's really... I, I want to like just retroactively say that that Alex also raises her hands for like at frustration at the same time as Charlotte does. Oh, oh. <laughs> I want to try to see if there's any possible way we can reason with this this impossible person. <laughs> okay. Um, because I have this discerning disposition skill, and I think I just want to know if she is willing to negotiate or if she is hard set on not letting us get this book today. Um, do you want me to roll for that? Yeah. Gosh, I have no idea. I got another 12. I guess I can keep rolling 12. Okay, all right, that is enough. <laughs> you can tell that this librarian is is not gonna yeah. gonna gonna throw, play ball with you. He is very like he looks like Anton Ego <laughs> a little bit from uh, <laughs> yeah. Ratatouille. No, he's going to defend yep, the crap. scruples of the institution <laughs> for which he works to the death. Uh, but. Uh, as you realize this, two figures walk past from behind the desk. Uh, they are both wearing... They are not. They are human figures. They are both wearing oh, okay. letterman's jackets that have giant cues all over them. 
Hughes. Hughes. Okay. <laughs> like the Riddler's jacket from Batman, but just Hughes instead of question marks. So, and they're on their way out, uh, and they glance over at Charlotte and Shannon. And one, who is wearing several shades of purple underneath her jacket and has an indigo scarf tied around her hair, kind of crosses her arms and goes, Charlotte, checking out a book. <laughs> and Charlotte goes, not in your life. <laughs> I'm a librarian. I used to keep the books. And then uh, Magenta, <laughs> she, the, the person, um, glances over the rest of the party and goes, and who might these new recruits be? Yeah, Arif's gonna mostly ignore everybody and just kind of mutter, we're wasting our time here and walk out of the library. Past and um, without acknowledging the two new people. <sighs> Charlotte and um, Shannon don't, well, Shannon follows you, but Charlotte kind of stays behind. A bone to pick with these people. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then um, the companion who was with um, the girl who spoke is like, um, Charlotte's in. What could you possibly be up to today? I love it. I love it. What's he look like? Uh, they, actually, uh, they are wearing three ties that are all tied at slightly different lengths. Normal. And they have a collar that is popped up completely <laughs> around their ears. <laughs> Oh Their gosh. jacket is open. Uh, the other person looks very uh, prim and proper. Um, they look a little bit more disheveled, almost jock-like. So, so they're wearing ties with their Letterman's <laughs> jacket. Yeah, but it's it, the jacket is open. Yeah, yeah, no, it's that looks cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're wearing three different ties. This is a great school era. <sighs> so then, um, Charlotte is t speaking to them while talking backwards. Walk backwards. To, wa to walk backwards. Oh. To, uh, to, yeah, yeah, to meet up with you. And she's like, sorry, student council, we've got bigger things to worry about. And uh, the one in the, all the ties goes, Big L sends you student council. <laughs> Can you believe this, Magenta? And the one who's all in purple um, is like, more important than the student council. What a good one, Charlotte. You're always good for a laugh. I wouldn't dare. Oh, Alex is going to be like, everything is bigger than the student council. You should expand <laughs> your mindset a bit. But of course, I don't think you can because of how small you are. <laughs> Alex, after you say that, roll me a perception check. Perfect. I am trained in perception, by the way. Okay. So, I rolled a 13. Okay. You sense a flicker of when you say everything's more important than the student council. Yeah, good. You sense a flicker of fear from both of them. Ooh, I'm gonna smile at that. Uh, and then um, ties. the one, the one in all the ties is like, you don't even go here. What? Do you do you go here? I would I would know. I'm on the student council. Uh, no, I, in fact, don't. I'm too busy being the head of the trash... What, what's the actual, like, title? Treasury, just Treasury Department. Okay, I guess you didn't know if it was. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't go here, you know. I'm too busy being the head of the Treasury Department for the Queen, so... Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There is life after college, you know, you guys. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just like to point out that Alex is like schooling a teenager and like how cool she is for being an adult with a job. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to school here. You tell him, Alex. No, but I, I also achieved this without going to this school and to your student council. <laughs> so who is bigger now? I don't think your school is cool. Let's get a roast going. Hey, um, Magenta, was it? What's your name? <laughs> uh, what's their name? Devin. Devin. Oh. Not Tyler. <laughs> My name is Devin. Just a wild guess. <laughs> Why would you think my name was Tyler? <laughs> it's because you have ties. <laughs> it's been that sort of day. <laughs> it is professional. <laughs> <laughs> No, you look good. It looks normal and good. <laughs> uh, I don't think it looks very good. I am getting very confusing vibes from this party. We have... Uh, we have upstart note-taker girl over here. And then we have fake compliments from this one. Fake? 
Huh? What? I know it looks cool, but I don't need you to pendle to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Divin. Sorry. Uh, sorry for the trouble. No, we're not. <laughs> Fair. <Gosh. sighs> All right. Uh, Magenta and Divin. Oh, boy. Um, well, like, huff and storm past, and then Magenta will be like, I was going to give them a, to give your new friends a warm welcome on behalf of the student council, Charlotte, but I don't quite think they're key material. Uh, and uh, then I'll take that as a compliment. Hanlor does not take it as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> She'll add to Divin as they uh, walk away. Um, Come on, Divin, we've got those recipe books to sort. And they continue on their merry way across the quad. Is that a... Is that a magenta uh, scarf you have there? Oh, no. Magenta? Why, it is. I consider magenta the loveliest shade of purple. I uh, I think the same thing, only I think it's a shade of red. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're wrong. Oh. No, Allie. This is all you wanted. Hey, uh, really <laughs> cool. Uh, hey, you're the student council. It sounds totally awesome. I was wondering, we're also curious about local recipes and stuff. Like maybe we could, you could, we could go with you and help you look at the recipe books and you could tell me more really interesting stuff about how cool your school is. Why would you want to do that? Because I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion roll. Make a roll to lie. Okay, I got this. Don't even worry about it. Either. Oh, dear. Don't even worry. That's a 17. That's, That's not bad. Because I yeah. respect you. Oh, wow. And I don't laugh when I say <laughs> that. 17? All right. Um, Magenta? Uh, and then Divin will shout, finally! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then be like, um, the nudge Magenta, maybe she can help us with the project. And Magenta goes, shh. I don't know if I'm <laughs> cool enough. I, l I hate books, though. Exactly. She doesn't know if she's cool enough. This is... I hate read. I hate reading books. Have we split the party? Where are where is where are people? I'm in the hallway. I think we're all like in the hallway in front of the library. You're you're walking. Okay. Yeah, so like the library goes to outside. So when everyone started moving outside, Charlotte and the student council were a little bit slower. And then I imagine Alix was also a little bit yeah, slower. Yeah, yeah, Alix was yeah. Talking with them. But now you're all sort of like in this really <laughs> awkward gaggle. Yeah. Walking across the quad, they're going to like an undetermined location. Uh, so Magenta will give you an eye and then look at the rest of you and be like, why are you so interested in recipe books? We love food. Doesn't... I want to learn how to, how to cook things by putting them in fire. <laughs> look, that book is a treasure. I am a treasure. <laughs> I collect treasures. So I am interested in this book. Because I want to see this treasure. That's my job. <sighs> Araf's gonna keep her mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna say something she's gonna regret. <laughs> a, little, a little pat on her shoulder for Hanalor. Be strong, buddy. <laughs> Magenta glances from your little posse back to Charlotte and Shannon. Charlotte is standing with her uh with her arms crossed. At some point she <laughs> threw away the peppermint stick she had and took out of a course. new one. Holding back egg from, from grabbing it off the ground. You don't know when. <laughs> you don't know when this happened. You don't know when. Egg has already eaten it. <laughs> and Magenta's like, Charlotte, it appears your new friends want something from us. And Charlotte's like, yeah, yeah, calm down. No one needs anything from you. And um, she and then Magenta says, it seems to be quite the contrary. You've been a thorn in our side since literally the first day you stepped on campus, and you have been particularly bad during this semester at Sky nonsense. And then Charlotte leans back against, and Devin adds, well, it was Devin, but I said it bad because I'm trying to do a French accent, and then I just liked Devin better, so I kept it. Devin. <laughs> Devin. Well, I'd like, Charlatan! Oh, Charlotte, Charlotte, oh, never mind. I thought I heard something there. Never. Right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Ooh, the sass is real. Uh, so then Divin will add, um, after screaming into the sky, like, <laughs> Charlotte, 
I do believe if you want something from, um, from us, you have to give us something in return. And Charlotte goes, negotiate? It is about time. I know that you have that little book smuggling ring of yours. I just don't have enough to pin it on you. We were left behind to secure order and keep the peace on Key, on, on key University. I bet. While everyone else was at Semester at Sky, it is a high honor to be chosen for this position. On the highest <laughs> honor of all, the student council. That's definitely why you didn't get to go on the boat, because of how important you are. <laughs> <laughs> and Dippin is like, that is correct. <laughs> Sometimes nice person. Uh, Alex is going to chuckle at that a bit. <laughs> then Magenta crosses her arms and says, well, I think that if you want this recipe book so bad, you should come negotiate with us. Meet us at dawn, cafeteria. I look at Charlotte. Ooh. Dawn. <laughs> this is, this is so dramatic. <laughs> Charlotte is like, Charlotte wasn't leaning against the wall a second ago, but she has somehow found a brick wall to like lean against with one leg propped up. Um, and she's like, fine, Dawn, we'll see you then. And then, D- and then uh, Devon and Magenta will turn and walk away. Bye, guys. It was really cool to meet you. thought they'd Bye. never leave. Bye, guys. They don't respond <laughs> as they walk away. Magenta, see you later. She is ignoring you. Good riddance. I'm going to miss them. <laughs> you know, Key is probably really lucky, actually, that they don't have any books. What? Because I was getting real bored in there. And and I was thinking that if things go south, we could go back to the plan that we didn't actually get to use last time we went on our mission, where we were gonna fling fling me off the top of Red Mary, and <laughs> I was gonna be on fire, and I was gonna distract every everyone, and and then you, you guys were gonna do the important stuff. I think we're still saving but... that one. I think we're still playing. <laughs> You know, hold that thought, because if this negotiation goes south, which it might be, I don't trust these people. Shannon is delighted by this plan. We will probably lay hands on this plan of yours. Just keep... I don't know if right now is the moment for it. Not right maybe. now, but maybe... Maybe yeah. I'm done. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe. You guys want, like a like, a safe place to make your plan? That would be perfect. I assume you have a location for this, Charlotte? Follow me. God, you're cool. Uh, so if you all follow her, she will lead you into a building adjacent to the library and then upstairs to one of those like indoor connector bridges you see at exposition halls. There's a word for that. That connects one like building to another. So she goes into the other building. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, there is a word. The connector bridge. I don't know what the word is, so it's a connector bridge. Skyway. Is it a skyway? I think it's a skyway. It's probably that. That sounds right. Yeah. So there's there's a there's a skywalk that connects to the next building to a brightly lit hallway. Um, but Charlotte takes a very sharp right down a different hallway that you almost didn't see because it is perfectly perpendicular to where you're currently walking. And just around the corner is a vending machine whose lights are off. Charlotte kind of like leans against the vending machine so you can't <laughs> see like what buttons she's pressing. Like when you're hiding your pin. Eventually she takes a little book and sticks it into the snack flap. Like it's a library return flap. Felix is going to nod approvingly of this. So then uh, she steps back and she has somehow at some point procured another peppermint Uh, stick that is now new in her mouth. You never saw her throw the other one away. No, you didn't. (laughs) And the vending machine moves to the side and reveals a slide that descends into nothing but darkness. Charlotte leans cockily against the wall and says, guests first. Ig jumps on it. <laughs> Ig's already on their way down. <laughs> Immediately. Going. They just dove, like, head first. I should probably make sure she doesn't light anything on fire. And Hanalore's gonna cannonball after. She has had a lot of sugar today. Do Aerith and... <laughs> can I wait for Charlotte? Yeah, you can wait, but Charlotte is also waiting okay. for you, so there's this really tense... <laughs> yeah. Who can wait yeah. harder? Like, it's fine. I'm gonna go. I'll wait. Uh, Alex, are you going down? Yes. Okay. So it's just Arif, <laughs> Ale- it's just Arif and Shannon and Charlotte. and Charlotte 
in the hallway and Shannon awkwardly squeezes past you and then goes down the slide. <laughs> and then Charlotte's like, you don't want to see what's down there? Oh, I do. I'm just being cautious. And she'll take a, take a dive, I guess, <laughs> into the slide. <laughs> take a dive. And then Charlotte will follow you. So the slide descends into darkness until you feel Ooh. the sudden brush of heavy curtain fabric, almost like you're going through blackout curtains. Uh, and your eyes are immediately assaulted by just an astounding amount of light. Everyone take two points of ah. light damage. Oh, jeez. How many? What? It's like, it's like when someone Me? shines a flashlight Ooh, in your eye and when you weren't expecting it. Wow. It just hurts. Ah. It's not going to matter because you're going to heal before That's dawn. Good. I just want to know that you all took two points of might damage from this sudden burst of light. Ow. So you all landed in a nest of pillows at the base of the slide. And you look around. And you were in a room that can only be described as a library speakeasy. Hey. Oh. Uh, however, where most speakeasies are dimly lit, this speakeasy is flooded with reading lights. Assorted lamps of varying sizes, shapes, and shades are precariously crammed onto any open table spaces, or if they're tall enough, they're shoved into corners with their shades pushed back to provide the maximum amount of light. There are a few lights that look like old-fashioned gas lamps stuck on open areas of the walls, but there isn't much wall space because the walls themselves have been converted into bookshelves that are stuffed with books. Armchairs and couches, some blanket forts, and those fuzzy floor pillows from the early 2000s <laughs> are all, like, littering the space. <laughs> and several students are lounging on or under any soft surface they can find, poring over paperbacks, picture books, and hardcover books of every imaginable condition. Uh, most of the students in this room are in front of a shelf that is labeled with a giant banner that says YA the good shit. Nice. <laughs> Drugs. The whole thing looks mm -hmm. like a combination of a flea market, an antique shop, and a youth community center that isn't trying too hard. <laughs> Can I just say, Italian chef gesture. <laughs> Charlotte steps up, brushes herself off a little bit, and says, Welcome to the Read Easy. Oh! <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know, I see that coming. That's, that's actually yes. both in and out character reaction. <laughs> we all love so it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alex is going to turn to Arif and say, did you start this? I suppose I had a role in it. Oh, you had a role. There was no speaky, there was no read easy at the time Arif was here, but uh, the underground book channels were established by Arif's time, and I just picked up the slack. But the, the read easy is kind of a kind of my baby. <laughs> it's cool. It'd be my thesis if I could make it. My I thesis think that's cool. Or my dissertation or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I'm, if there's a way to call it a personal yeah. project, <laughs> then all of this wouldn't be allowed. Get uh, get sooner out of here, then you know. I'd like to... I'm really I'm really proud of this. I I think it's it's a really good job. Uh, Charlotte looks legitimately like she's trying not to appear like she's glowing, but she is glowing. She is so excited that you're all like impressed by this read easy. Uh, however, several other students who were actually reading are like, shh, <laughs> because they're all trying to read while you're just talking at the base of the slide. So Charlotte will guide you to like this little back office that she has. Heavily soundproofed, I assume. It's heavily soundproofed and there's just like one dingy light because all the lights are in the main area. So it's like a classic detective office. A detective who's fallen in hard times. Yeah. So she and uh, Shannon lead you in there and then Charlotte hops on the desk and crosses her legs and says, So what's the plan? Mm -hmm.